Uh, maybe we'll close on this topic. Uh, so as everyone knows, the Pac-12 uh, was decisive in uh, abolishing divisions for this season, will be the only conference that will not have divisions. Therefore, as we all know, uh, there was rarely controversy in any of these conferences based on the current format because everyone plays everyone within a division. And the only time you would have any type of situation would be if you had a three-way tie for first place in a division. And that was extremely rare. I can't come up with one of those situations in a power five conference off the top of my head. Um, but now we've got a situation where three teams could tie for first place, let's say all six and three, or you could have a two-way tie for second place. And those two teams did not play in the regular season. So I got to think that there's a common opponent component there and it's a NFL type or what has been in play for division championships and college football tie breaking systems uh, that's going to be implemented in the Pac-12 this season. Yeah. I mean, I, th- I don't, I don't know the, the, the conference tiebreaker order off the top of my head, Willie, uh, you know, posing this question and it's a good one. Um, but it's either going to be in terms of the main tiebreaker at, you know, if, if USC, Oregon, Utah, all, uh, well, USC and Oregon don't play. So you're going to have tiebreakers from a USC Utah game and Utah plays Oregon. So you'll have tiebreakers there, but common opponents is going to be one. And then the other thing is it's going to be the highest placed team in the conference did you beat that team and and then you're going to go down the list third fourth fifth sixth so either common opponents or highest place team that you beat those those are going to be the two main determinants and obviously if that's unsettled after that then you go to you know the further tiebreakers uh down the list but yes mark's absolutely right it's going to be like an nfl style you know those list of tiebreakers uh st- style format so in other words it has nothing to do with the college football playoff rankings or with the AP polls. It's an internal measurement of conference performance. Uh, that That's what's going to decide it. And Eric, just to clarify, yes, uh, there are no divisions in the Big 12. What I meant was out of the conferences that officially qualify for division play, once the Big 12 was reduced to 10 teams, uh, they were not uh, automatically allowed to split into divisions. 